This video is sponsored by Rainway. So meet my quarantine companion. Not, not the laptop, but that little icon right there. So as excited as I am about like, next gen consoles, and while I kind of wait for those to eventually come out and being stuck at home now more than ever, I've kind of gotten back into PC gaming. It's been a while since I've really been into it. I'm kind of just dipping a toe in into that world again. I mean, I don't have to tell you guys, I see the comments, the benefits of PC gaming over consoles. You get better graphics, usually better catalog of games, more customization options over frame rates and graphics. And then obviously you can build your own PC to sort of make your custom rig. Whereas the consoles, you kind of just get what they give you. So I just did a video actually on this MSI laptop and I love it, it's a powerhouse. And I wanted to find a way to kind of put it to use in an untraditional way. So kind of what I've been looking for is a way to get the best of the console experience, which for me, it's just been sitting on the couch, the controller, playing on the TV, but also kind of bring that to the PC side. And that's been tricky for me to find. I don't want a laptop on my lap getting extremely warm. I don't want to bring cables and dongles and mice and keyboards. So that's where this video sponsor Rainway comes in. It's a service that I had been using. I actually reached out to them to sponsor a video. It is completely free and is I think one of the best ways to easily get all of your PC games to your TV, your tablet or phone in like almost no steps at all. And be sure to subscribe to the channel when we hit 1.7 million subscribers. We'll be doing a dream phone giveaway. Could be an awesome thing to get your Rainway game on. So at the heart of all of this, it's the Rainway dashboard. This is what you download on your PC and it'll pull in all of your games automatically from all your platforms. So Steam, Epic Origin, or if you just have another game downloaded, it'll find that or you can manually get your games into the dashboard. And that's really it. You do have a couple options to set preferences for streaming, how you wanna do encoding and all the other like streaming stuff you'd expect, you know, resolution, frame rate. You can set all of that on the device that you're actually gonna be doing the gaming on. I'm not a professional gamer, I'm amateur at best, but I do enjoy it. And I've enjoyed gaming just sitting on the couch. And that's sort of why I gravitated to Rainway initially. I didn't need any extra hardware. A lot of these platforms, you have to plug in separate boxes or dongles, it can get to be messy. Chances are Rainway will work with whatever you already have on your TV. There's Android TV app. So if you've got an Android TV set or a a uh, third party box that gives you Android TV, it'll work for you. As of this filming today, Fire TV app is out. There's an Apple TV app in development that we got to test. There are a ton of different ways to get Rainway on your set. And I would bet if you've got a, any modern TV, you probably have one of those things already set up and working. So I've been doing a lot of my testing with the Apple TV app. Why I like the Apple TV, it's obviously not a console, but it does support console controllers over Bluetooth. So, you know, your Xbox or DualShocks or a bunch of other third parties. And that was kind of all I needed to let me give it a shot. So once you're on like this main screen, you can swipe over and that's where you can really dial in the settings for the device you actually want to do the gaming on. So here's where I was surprised with Rainway and kind of why, I guess I initially reached out to them, was that the games just looked really good. It wasn't any artifacting it looked like I was playing on that MSI laptop. And that is the best compliment that I can give. I got the game experience that I wanted. I got the power of that gaming PC while just still glued to my couch. It's gonna depend on what game you're playing, but all the games that we tested, I was easily able to maintain a minimum 60 frames per second, and sometimes even got up as high as 80 to 100. At least for me as a casual gamer, what it boiled down to is I was just always able to enjoy playing the game. I read it, really think about the connection or how the game was being rendered, how it was getting to my TV. It just worked. And it always looked some version of good. And that was all I needed, you know, for my 15, 20 minute break to just get a quick game session on. So if you wanna check out Rainway, I'll link to it down below. And again, remember, this is 100% free. This is not gonna cost you a cent to try. So it's been kind of nice and, and don't judge me to go all around my house and like, my kids aren't 
to try to play these games for a few minutes, whether I'm outside, inside, on the couch, in my bedroom, wherever, and be able to play these games on whatever device I happen to have in my pocket, whether it's iOS or Android, or I've got a tablet with me. And there are time and a place when you want to have that gaming PC with you. But for those times when it's not necessary, Rainway has been an absolutely awesome and amazing way. And quite honestly, it's rekindled my love for PC gaming.